it's Kerry, welcome to my channel and to those of you that are new here, welcome to the vlog. This video today is going to be all about Vinted. Um, so Vinted uh, is a resale site of clothing and now homewares as well. So Vinted has been heavily advertised on the TV over here in the UK lately um, and it's something that I've been wanting to try for quite some time but just never really got around to it um, but I have now um, I have been both buying and selling on Vinted um, so I thought I would just give you a quick overview and uh, you know of my thoughts my experiences of, of it and then also how to upload an item so why am I trying Vinted? It's something that I've wanted to try for quite some time. Um, it appeals to my sense of um, all things environmental in terms of sustainability. So you're actually reusing products um, or items rather than throwing them away. Of course, you could always give some items as well through um, to charity, which is generally what I've done in the past. I will walk you through now what I did when I uploaded my first item. Um, so generally what you'll do um, is you download the Vinted app, set up your profile um, and then when it comes to putting in your first item, what you want to do is make sure that you take photos in good light. So I've just uploaded them straight from my phone. Um, make sure that if you can wear them, um, you know, because it tends to sell better if you have got an item that you are shown wearing. So whether it's shoes or a dress or you know anything if you can still fit into it i've not been able to fit into all of the things i've posted on vinted um so yeah upload those photos make sure that they're done in a good light um take note of things like showing the label if it is brand new with tags and you still have the tag on it then show that as well show who it's made by if that's possible to do that and then always make sure that you put the best picture first because that's the one that's going to be shown to everyone first some people do just take one photo but i just don't think that's enough i typically upload about five or six um and then you can reorder them if you need to. So you, when you're going through your phone and selecting which ones you want, once you get them onto the app then and it's downloaded, you, you can then reorder them in whichever order you like. And then you um, title it. So if you're putting on a pair of, uh, you know, size seven super dry boots like I have here, um, then that's what you can put in the title. I try to not make the title too long um, and then highlight things that stand out for example on this particular one i put they were sparkly uh, super dry boots um, so when it comes to writing the description now for me this is key i've worked kind of like in sales roles and stuff before and you know i've listed so many things on ebay in the past that the description is key and in this case more is more so um, that way as well, you also get less questions from the buyer um, and, you know, obviously you're there to answer questions too on them if they uh, ask you any questions. Um, but I find it's really good just to be as descriptive as you can, as accurate as you can. Um, and say, for example, if you are um, looking at putting some high heeled shoes on there, then stick the heel height of the shoe in um, and be descriptive you know in terms of whether or not it fits properly if it's true to size and then what I like to do on some of the clothing is um, if I know it if it's on the label is just to put the materials of the, the um, clothes on there you don't have to do that it's just something that I like to do um, the category when it comes to set, setting the category category <laughs> so it's you know dress boots tops whatever um, what Vinted will do is it will have a, a scan through your description and pick out what it thinks the category should be but you can go through and adjust that if you want to so I just find that's really helpful thing of, um, of Vinted to do you can then obviously set the brand um, again it will pick through your description if you put it in your description it will pick that up for it um, but if it's not on the list as i did find with a couple of items you can um, put your own in and it'll take that as well um, 
In terms of when it comes to the condition, now you've got brand new with tags, you've got brand new without tags, you've got very good, you've got good, and you've got satisfactory. And Vinted gives you a guide as to what each of those will mean. Um, don't over egg it. So if you say it's, you know, if you think it's a really good, con really, really good condition, um, but you think, oh, I don't know, I might try and dupe some people and put that it's brand new without tags, don't do that because it's really obvious when the clothing item comes through. I will go through that in a little while um, with my experience. Um, so you can also then choose the colour, but again, Vinted will pick up anything that you've put in the description and pull out the colour of that up as well. And then when it comes to pricing it, Vinted will give you a suggestion of what they think the price should be based on what other sellers have sold that for. I always ignore it because it comes up way too low. Um, and the items that I'm selling are really good condition. I've not really worn them at all. Um, so at that point, then you can um, choose the postage and packaging or the, the postage cost. So you can choose from Hermes or uh, Royal Mail. They may have some other custom options on there as well. I just tend to go with um, Hermes because it's dead easy. Once you've sold an item, um, it will then um, send you the what do you call it, the barcode, the printout basically that you need to put on the front of your package if you're using Hermes. The buyer can, if they want to, choose another option. Um, so for Royal Mail or if they want it delivered directly to them, then they can do, they can do that too. So that's really easy. Um, yeah, it's just dead easy. For me, when I've had um, things delivered, what I've done is I've gone for the Hermes option to my local shop which happens to be five minutes down the road so it's not really difficult for me to go and pick it up in there. So when it comes to what to expect from your buyers, buyers can make an offer so you can put your price up there for example um, say if you wanted to sell a pair of really nice you know pretty new shoes that you may be only worn once for £20 they can make you an offer. What I've found is that buyers will tend to tend to make you an offer but they'll slash a third off the price so if you're wanting to sell it for a specific price that you're not wanting to go below then mark it up a little bit higher but not so much so that it's going to put somebody off there's also a messaging option so you can when somebody makes you an offer it will come up in um, a message sent so you've got on the on the app you've got notifications messages so your inbox basically and so you can converse back and forth and agree a price that way um, it's also really good as well um, for once you've sold it to keep them up to date on when you when you've sent it etc I mean the app will do that anyway once you've um, it's been scanned in at wherever you're taking it to so either the Hermes shop or um, the uh, Royal Mail to the post office. It will do that anyway, but it's just a little bit slower. Um, so yeah, if you do get any questions, I would recommend responding to them as soon as possible um, and just make sure you're always polite, helpful. So, you know, kind of goes without saying really. Expect low offers. Some people will insult you with really low offers. I did have that and I've said no. Um, and um, you also need to make sure that you set up your vinted balance. So I think that's just where you put in your name, your address um, and your bank details so that they can transfer funds to your bank if you need to do that after. Um, so do make sure you do that before you sell anything. Um, and it can take over a week to get your payment once um, once something is sold. So um, the first item that I sold, um, it took me eight days to get my money back. And that's because the buyer left it at um, the Hermes collection point for four days. Now, Vinted have um, a policy where I think it's after the buyer's had the opportunity to collect it or has had it for two days, it's supposed to pay you automatically. That didn't happen with me. Um, so what I have found as well is that shoes tend to sell better than clothes. I've not sold any items of clothing yet. I've got 17 items up. I think I put four lots of shoes up and all the rest of clothes and I have sold two pairs of shoes and nothing else yet. And that's after what six weeks, I think, of having items on there. Um, 
people will favour it, so they click on the heart and it kind of goes into like a little basket for them, but that doesn't really mean anything. Um, you know, you may get obviously some of the conversations back and forth through the messaging for it, but it's just, you know, somewhere just to, oh, I like that, you know, I'll, uh, I'll favourite that and if I want it or I can watch it and see if the people drop the price. So I have done that on some of my items just to try um, and engage more and get more of um, more interest in my products. I know that you can bump them as well um, and you can bump your whole wardrobe, but that's where you pay a certain fee to Vinted to do that. I've not bothered with that one. So I was thinking that around, you know, typical payday, so end of the month, I might actually get some more sales. That's not been the case you can buy anything or sell anything at any time. It doesn't really matter what time of the month it is. If people are gonna buy it, they'll buy it. Um, like I said, I've only sold two items in six weeks, um, which isn't great. And I've kind of spent most of that back <laughs> actually. If you're selling elsewhere, so on another app, so or eBay or Depop, um, then make sure that you put in the description for them to contact you first before purchasing it because if they like it, see the price, they like it, they could just hit purchase and then that, that's done. It's then over to you then to, to send it however they want it sent to them. So I would uh, put that in the description if you've got it listed elsewhere. So what's my experience of buying been like? Mostly it's been pretty good um, and the people that I bought from have sent, sent the items fairly quickly. Uh, Vinted allows you up to five days um, to sell them, or well, not to sell them, sorry, five days to post them. And most people have done that. And then if it's been Hermes that, it's, that I've selected that I want it to come by, um, then it's taken three or four days. Some people have had issues with their printer, seems to be quite a common option. The sellers seem to have problems with their printer um, and they'll ask if they can send it via Royal Mail instead. That's been absolutely fine with me. Um, now I did have an issue where, um, it was over a week of uh, an item not being sent and a message and I said, can you just let me know, you know, when you might be able to send this? And she says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm working really, really long shifts at the moment and by the time I finish work, the shop's shut, which typically if it's Hermes um, and that you can drop off point, most of those tend to shut around about 10 o'clock in the evening and are open from six in the morning. So I'm not aware of any shifts that last that long maybe you know i don't know anyway that was her first excuse um and then a few days later she texts me she goes oh look i'm gonna have to come clean i haven't got them anymore so i was like great why would you sell something that you haven't got and she says oh my husband gave them to his sister my okay um so yeah that that was a negative experience. Um, the other negative that experience that I had um, was that somebody had listed the um, an item as very good, came delivered, there was a hole in it. It happens, the seller was really sweet about it and we managed to resolve it and I just said, look, I'll, I'll just, I'll try and repair it myself. Um, but what I would say, if you do want to return anything, then the cost of returning that is down to you. So depending on how much you sent the uh, you paid for the item, it might not actually be worth sending it back, which was the case um, in this one. Um, and also, you know, I've had some really, really, really good bargains on there. So um, I've bought a pair of, uh, you know, skorts because that's what I was like. Look looking for so like shorts at the back skirt at the front two pound fifty can't really argue with that i ordered a nice cami top um again 199 you just can't argue with that and most of the things when they've come through have been as described so it's quite good um and then what i would say is um if you're either a buyer or a seller just leave feedback for that person because it helps to kind of boost their profile a little bit and it's, it's a star rating that you can do um so that's good so pros and cons so here is my list of pros and cons in terms of pros i love it because it is sustainable and um, it's all about sustainable fashion which is something that i am a big fan of 
Um, really good postage options. As I've said, it comes usually comes fairly quickly. The app itself is really easy to use and navigate around. Um, it's pretty much foolproof. Um, and you can get some really, really good discounts on stuff that's brand new with tags. So there was um, a top that I bought that was a Peruna, Peruna top that was meant to be £23 and I think I got it for four and it still had the tags in it and it's come and it's exactly as it's described. So yeah, you can get some really, really good bargains with it. Um, and obviously you can build up your list of favourites, which helps and you can keep a, keep a track on the prices of them. Sometimes the buyer will send you a message and say, look, here's a special offer, um, you know, or I'll, I'll reduce it by this much. It depends, I guess, on how long that, that item has actually been up for. Um, and then also Vinted give you, when you're looking through your like your profile or your favourites, it will give you a list of, um, of recommendations based on what you've bought before. So whether it's a particular brand or whether it's a particular style or something that you've searched on before. So I searched something um, I want something gingham, so I've I've searched for that and it's it's brought up other recommendations when I've gone on there. The cons, there aren't too many cons to be honest, um, other than the fact that it takes a while to get your money, um, and if you're selling something, um, and in my experience of using Hermes, I've dropped it off at the shop, but it's not actually showed up on the app for the net for the in, like, in the messages section for your buyer to see that you've actually sent it until the day after so that can make it look as though you're a little bit slow which is why i'd always recommend that as soon as you sent it just ping a quick message across to them and say look i've sent your item so they know that it's on the way um as i mentioned earlier they now have added some other items as well like household items like photo frames mirrors books etc so um, I have got a screenshot of it here um, now I have had a look through some of the books um, that are on there I might consider selling some books or some other household items in the future but from what I've seen so far because they've only just started doing that Vinted is more well known for clothes and shoes and accessories than it is for any household item so um, you could find some pretty good bargains on there for household items to, to start with, but I just think it's going to take them a little while to get going on that. So, will I continue using Vinted? Quick answer, yes, I will. Um, especially for when I'm doing clothing items um, for videos um, like this one. Um, I will be doing a follow-up video on um, on Vinted on the things that I've bought for a mid-size plus size body um, and I'm still waiting for a few items to come through so that's why I've not been able to include it in today's video um, but because I will be using some things um, for other videos there is one item that I've already bought for a future video which is as I mentioned in my last vlog I'm going to do some fashion through the decades so I'm going to be doing clothing hair and makeup from different decades i thought that would be fun to do so i have bought one dress to go with the for the 1950s themed uh video that i'm gonna do i may try depop which is um i think it originated in the us um and i will try that one out and maybe what i'll do is i'll compare the two if that's a video that you'd like to see then please leave some comments for me below I'd really like to know whether or not you've tried Vinted. If you have, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you have any good experiences, any bad experiences? Just let me know um, what you think and pop them in the comments below. That'd be great. I really like reading the comments um, and hearing from you guys. So um, without further ado, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you have found it um helpful that it was a bit of information if you've got any questions at all on vinted um then let me know in the comments below and i'll come back to you as soon as i can um but yes that is it for this video and just remember do what makes you happy bye